Hello again. We are almost done with our really cool headphones. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a cable. <laughs> it's funny, I don't actually know where the cable comes out of in the headphones, but um, I'm just going to stick it on the back of one of these pads. Um, so let's look at it like this. We're going to have the headphone plug come out of here. And let's see, I think I want to tilt it like that. But let me think, how do we want the coil to go? Let's draw the coil from the bottom. So we're going to create coil. And I'm just going to click over here. And move my properties i'm actually going to go back to um default view so we definitely need the coil with that's skinnier and i believe that skinnier thing is the section size so let's change this to three and see what happens yeah that's closer to what i want we don't we want the diameter the the coil diameter to be a lot smaller so let's try 10 and then I think we want more revolution so let's turn this up to 5 and see what that makes that look like okay so we're almost done now the cool thing is we can stretch this out so let's see what happens if we type 40 not bad um, I think I actually might whoops Okay, so this happens a lot with coils if you touch the wrong thing. There, that looks a little better. You can see the first the first arrow I accidentally pushed or pushed without knowing was the skinniness. So I'm going to put that back. Um, let me try to see both of these things at once. That is probably going to be okay. It's not going to fit perfectly because it will involve more tools. Um, but let's go ahead and hit enter. Um, let's flip around so we can see the back. And let's see. I'm going to click this. Whoops. So I can go into move copy. I need to zoom in a little. And we're going to go to move copy. Let's first get in position um and go to the bottom whoa let me minimize that okay so i kind of wanted it off this left one we're kind of all turned around now let's go back home for a second now let's go back to the back back to the back so and I'm actually going to look at it from the top. Whoops. Top. Front. Okay, that's the front. So I'm going to move it over here. Um, we'll go down. We'll flip left. We need to see more of this. So we basically want it like that. Let me see if it's lined up from the top. That's pretty good alignment. You can see, whoops, I hit the wrong corner. I want one of these corners, this corner. You can see that the cord isn't coming out of there. So if I go back to the top, I can use this dial to rotate it. The problem is we can't really see the end of it, so we're going to have to keep tilting so we can see the top of that. Okay. So now if I go back to the top and push this in here, um, actually, I want to look at it from that perspective. You can see that I do have it sticking out of the back. Um, I think I'm going to tilt it this way too, which means I have to move it again. It's going to move it on this plane. Um, I might have pulled it out. So I'm going to flip directly to the left. Yeah, I thought I did. In fact, I think I'm going to tilt it even more. 
Then I'm going to go back to the top. See, there's a lot of, when you're moving, especially with coils, they're really tricky. You got to keep looking at it from different angles and moving and rotating and moving and rotating. It's a little bit of a nuisance, um, but do the best you can. That's the hardest piece because of the way it works. Um, I'm going to hit enter and just get a good look at it. So it looks okay from that angle, but you can't see it well from that angle. So let's click the opposite corner in the tube. So that's not bad. Um, and that is the hardest part of it. So you might actually, when you take a picture of this to put in your notebook, I would like you to get it from the back so we can see um, we can see that the coil is going in well. Not really if we had more time or if we were working on different things, we might even put a headphone jack at the end, but we're gonna we're not gonna. Um, and we are going to combine this into one shape again. So I'm going to go to Modify Combine. And which was collapsed. So let me open up Combine and get it out of the way. And our headphones are our target body. And our coil is what we want to add on. And then I can click OK. And there are our headphones. And this is a decent angle um, to take a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the snip tool. Whoops, that's not the tool I wanted. Oh, yes, it is. I had snipped something else. So I'll go new. And please, when you do it, do it so I can see your name, the bodies folder, and the whole set of headphones. Um, and from there, you can copy and paste it into your folder. So that is the end of the headphones. I hope it worked out well for you. Um, don't be hard on yourself if it looks a little different than mine. I have more experience than you do. Um, but it was a great exercise in really getting better at moving stuff and copying stuff and combining stuff and rotating stuff. So good job.